The biggest event in Washington, and it happens once every four years, the countdown to inauguration is on. But when President Obama takes the oath of office on Monday, the inaugural celebration will be nothing compared to what it was back in 2009 when he was sworn in. ABC's David Curley is in Washington with more. Good morning, David. Fiona and Dan, this is my third one. I got to tell you, it gets cold, it seems, every time the president gets ready to take the oath. But while the weather's going to be the same, this is going to be a much different celebration than the one four years ago. The barricades are up, the viewing stands built, the finishing touches going on floats. Members of the military have already practiced parading. I, Barack Hussein Obama. And the president says he's ready to take the oath for a second time. The theme of this year's inauguration is our people, our future. Beyonce and James Taylor will perform. But this will be a very different affair. Four years ago, 1.8 million people filled them all. Less than half that number, just 800,000, are expected this year. Four years ago, nearly every one of the 29,000 hotel rooms here were booked. 7,000 rooms are available this morning. Only two inaugural balls versus 10 four years ago, all after an expensive campaign, a tough economy, and four years. Just the moment that that was for the country, the first African-American um, president, and it was new for everyone. But you know what, there still is you know, a level of excitement despite the numbers. As we move down Pennsylvania Avenue, we'll pass through a cordon. Already Fortress DC is taking shape, a lockdown, as the president talks to historians about hitting the right tones in what will be his last inaugural address. Now, despite the fact that this is going to be a much smaller affair, really it is still a lot of excitement, as Anita McBride said. The number of people that will be here nearly double who came to the second inaugural for President Bush and President Clinton. Dana Biana. But still that remarkable drop off from, uh, from the last time. David Curley, thank you very much and stay warm. And by the way, our special coverage of the inauguration starts tomorrow right here on GMA. And ABC News live coverage of the ceremony on Monday starts at 7 Eastern with George Stephanopoulos and Josh Elliott co-anchoring a special edition of Good Morning America live from Washington.